In this quick tutorial, we're going to add Zoom to a first person controller in Godot 4. This is great for things like aiming, allowing the player to have a closer look at the environment, or even a zoom effect for a handheld night vision camera, like in the game Outlast. The zoom will be done by lowering the camera's field of view by clicking a button. When the button is released, it will gradually reset to the default field of view. So I've already got my horror demo scene set up with a player that has collision, a camera, movement, some head bob and footsteps and the player is put in this creepy little environment. Let's first add the zoom input. So project settings, input map, I'm going to name the input zoom and map it to the right mouse button. Now let's go to the player script and add some variables. Let's add a few export variables, zoom field a few, so this is the field a few we are zooming to, and zoom speed, the speed of the zoom. Since the scene has a horror vibe, we'll do a relatively slow zoom. I already have an onReady variable for the camera, so let's add another variable, which is the default field of view. In this case, it's 75, and we'll just grab that from the reference camera. Now let's update the process function to handle the zoom. The process function is called every frame, which makes it good for things that need to update continuously. We'll check if the zoom input is pressed, meaning the right mouse button is held down. If it is, we'll use Lerp to smoothly transition from the current field of view to the zoomed field of view, using the zoom speed and delta to control the ease of that transition. Else, if the zoom input isn't pressed and the field of view isn't already the default value, we'll do the same thing, but transition it back to the default field of view. And that's it. Let's run the scene and try it out. So when we hold down the right mouse button, we zoom in smoothly. And when we let it go, we zoom back out. The smooth transition is thanks to the lerp function, which interpolates between two field of view values based on the zoom speed we set. And if we want, we could separate out the zoom functionality into its own script to keep things clean and modular. 